Well, just to recap where we've been up to this point, we all kind of settled at Michael Thomas at the number five overall dynasty wide receiver. Uh, if you ask me personally, I would go uh, Mari Cooper at six. Which I was in agreement with. Right. Julio Jones at seven. And Devontae Adams at eight. Big Co, you got a little bit of a shifted order there. Right. I went Julio at six, Devontae Adams at seven, Amari at eight. And Casey, you got uh you got, got Devontae there at eight then? I got uh I think I'm gonna go Keenan Allen at eight. Yeah? I think I'm gonna go Keenan Allen eight, Amari or uh Devontae. Devontae at nine and then AJ Green at ten. I think that's where I'm at. Well, I'm ready to get into a Keenan discussion. I think that's where we're about to lead to here. Get in some Keenan Allen. I, uh, I don't think we get too much farther down the list before AJ Green has to jump up. So that's true. So Ke- Keenan Allen, AJ Green. You got a preference there, uh, Big Co? Well, obviously, forever I would I would have gone AJ Green, but mm-hmm. Keenan Allen strings together of you know 15 games of help here and mm. top 10 wide receiver numbers, and it's just the Bengals are doing what Bengals do and implode and bungle. And Andy Dalton looks horrible right now, and. Uh, it's easy to it's easy to like what Keenan Allen's putting out there right now. It's really easy to like, and he's he's four years younger. And of course, we went through two two seasons in a row where he's he's hurt. Last year, it was one week, so that right. just really stung. And Antonio, I mean, it, Keenan Allen, you, it tested the truthers. Mm. And uh, this year, it paid off for him. It's paying off dividends. Now, paying off now, big time. So I, I I don't mind I don't mind Keenan Allen being in front of AJ Green. I I, I can't argue with you. Yeah. Well. I mean, maybe we should have led the show with Keenan Allen, Devontae Adams, and Michael Thomas breakdown here. Yeah. Because I just jumped uh, Jump Keenan ship. Allen uh, in front of Devontae Adams. And I guess it's it's just, I don't know, just sheer volume. And, and Phil, I'm sure, is going to hang around over there. The Chargers are getting better. Uh, you, you, you had a couple of missteps in the beginning of the season, but they, they could easily be in control of this division right now and be three or four games ahead of where they are. Yeah, that and, loss they just took to the Chiefs. I didn't see that coming, but that really kind of put a dampen on that the whole division run and possibly right. their playoff run. They got some work to do. There's so. a chance that Tyrell Williams is out of there next year. He's a restricted free agent. You got Mike Williams coming in, but we're you know nobody's sure exactly what that's going to bear. And Phil Rivers just chucks Loves it, Keenan. just bludgeons Keenan with targets. And he does. A, and a, you know, obviously the knock on Keenan's been the health and all that stuff, but. If Keenan stays healthy, I mean, what he does on the field is is fantastic. We 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 did a whole long thing about uh, Devonte Adams' route running ability. Well, Keenan Allen's right there with him, man. Whole like, other level. It's just it's so it's so good. It's even better. And him and Phil are on the same page, and they're just he that's just who he's looking for. That's his guy. Like he's he moves the chains with him. He scores touchdowns with him. He just he bludgeons him when he's unconscious. Just keeps <laughs> hammering this guy. <laughs> <laughs> it's a borderline. He could be hit with hitting a rape charge. His, he's hitting him in his sleep. Yeah, it's, it's borderline rapey. Yeah, yeah. So but I, mean, I like. I it. guess. Is, yeah. I guess that's where I'm leaving. I, I, I really want to put Devonte. Like again, I want to put Devonte Adams a little higher on this on this uh, totem pole here. But I, I think I'm going Keenan and Devonte, and then AJ Green. That's is it. it just because that that Devonte might not be a Packer next year? Or you just no, gotta, I don't. Take straight up Keenan. I think I'm just taking straight up Keenan and, and and Phil and the Packers are gonna spread it around and I, th- I don't think Jordy's going anywhere for at least a year. I think they they'll restructure like we talked about. Yeah, and I think there's just other other targets to go around and Aaron Rodgers just doesn't get locked on one guy. I mean Phil will again just keep pumping it to Keenan and and I'm loving what I'm seeing from Keenan Allen. It's just been great, and every time that there's been stretches of games where Keenan's played, it's been great. Every time, yeah. And and Keenan, he's on a you, hot stretch right now. They're they've been scorching hot. They did go into the Kansas City in late November, early mid December in Kansas City. It's always place tough. To play. Sure, I, I I could excuse that loss from the Chargers. It just sucks the way they lost the first four games of their season, or three out of four to start the year, and really put themselves behind the eight ball. But they've been running red hot for two months now, and Keenan Allen's been just reaping the benefits of tons of targets, like you said. Obviously, everybody knows opportunity drives fantasy points, and Keenan Allen's been getting the most uh, as much opportunity as as the next best guy out there for this whole season, really. And nobody can guard him one on one. I mean, he's too quick. Wow. His 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 you know change of direction is ridiculous, and his he got great spatial awareness, knows where to be. Like he's just 
great, great relationship I mean, he, with Philip Rivers. A, the ti- the timing is there, and the mm-hmm. way he runs his routes is very like he he does. He'll slow play things yeah. like no other, and and then take off and speed up. And you know, Devontae does the same kind of things like we were talking about. But oh, and Rivers doesn't. Wa- Rivers will stand in the pocket and pat that ball for a minute. His, right. he's he's under in no pressure to throw. He'll the take ball. a sack looking right at Keenan. <laughs> 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 doesn't care. Plus, right. he's got a lot of weird angles that he can deliver the ball into, and so <laughs> that's good. And and the only th- like I've. I've somehow ended up with Keenan on like every single dynasty team that I own just because I always found some kind of possible value in what, you know, th- when we drafted him years ago Yeah, and I tried to offload him this past season. Luckily I didn't, I didn't sell him short. You tried to sell him to everybody that was I, did. I tried though. to buy him from you for a 10th. I wouldn't give him, you I wouldn't close, give him to him for 110. 110 was a, I was that like, was a heated debate. Like, it was I can't, almost I can't do it for 110. I would, I was trying to get like one five. Uh, yeah or six but i couldn't do that and so i was like well the worst thing would be to trade him to casey for 110 and him be healthy all year and then casey just mm. destroy us and i was like not ready to let that happen sure and now that the fact that he's gone through what is it 15 games now six, 14 games there's two games left in the season right so 14, 14 games. of them and he's super healthy the, his arrows just right back up yeah. and i think that he i think he's done enough now that even if he got hurt again Agreed. It still Just, wouldn't tank his value about down to where it would have if he d- had not gone through this ridiculous stretch he's of number 100 three. yards games and touchdowns. He's and, number three in wide receiver points this year. Yeah. I mean, and a 40-burger and a 35 and a 26 back-to-back-to-back. Back to back, and it's been right. so consistent. We'll do that for you. Th- you were just waiting for it to drop off. Right. And it just has never dropped off. It's just been so good. There's the ceiling and the floor. Yeah. Man, yeah, maybe. So, so where are you guys at here? I I I rounded out my ten. Where 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 are you guys at here? Where, well, I I went Keenan at nine and AJ at ten. And there's some. I really want to. I want to scream stuff on Diggs to as loud as I can. And and Tyreek Hill's explosiveness and his his you know ability to crush and and in, in NFL two years in a row comes to life. Landry's consistency. Oh, uh, you gotta I, love Tyreek Hill. This is, but this is a discussion for another time. No doubt. Yeah. No, I'm just saying some guys. We, yeah, we're no, stopping yeah, yeah. at ten. Sure. And I'm gonna, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna concede to the veteran and AJ Green, who is is just just like what we were talking about with Nuke Hopkins' team. He, you know, the Texans melted down last year, and his he, he fell down, and he shot right back up this year when he's playing good and he's young. Like the the bungles of 2017 yeah. have struck, and they look horrible. Uh, you know, they, they could, could easily they can't turn that ship break. around. Three weeks ago, Joe Mixon was breaking out. He's looking good. Boom, concussion out two weeks. Like they can't even get get a little bit of positive momentum around here. Offense's like, line is the really coach is out of here. The assistants are looking for other jobs at this point because Marvin Lewis is gone, and they all know it. The whole like the re- this the the back half of this season for the Bengals fell apart. The beginning of the season was horrible for them. They had to fire the offensive coordinator, bring in somebody else. A couple games of of spark. And then everything's fizzled out again. So, A.J. Green, stay in power. Only receiver in the history of the NFL to make Pro Bowl first eight years of his career or something like that. I'm going to just ride it with A.J. Green. He's 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 silky he's smooth. so good. He's he's not limping around every play like Julio. And I think that, you know, he's he's going to be good. If he wants to play in the league three or four more years, I'll take that. It's just, really splitting hairs with, yeah. you know, a lot That's of That's what I was getting here. at. I mean, we're stopping at 10 here. I need to name somebody to be at 10, but – I, we could have a good argument, the same good argument we just had six through ten. Eleven through fifteen is going to be just as great. Yeah. Tyree Kill belongs in the top fifteen, man. He yeah. does. He's so Tyreek good. Hill does. Thielen, Joe, maybe? Jarvis Landry the, does. Thielen, Thielen does. Thielen and Diggs. Diggs. I don't know if you could put two guys up that high. Yeah. But on the same squad. Cooks. I, I would still put Cooks. Yeah, in I think the top I think 15, Cooks is is right outside of this ten so for he, me. Here's so a our question. next stop in on this is going to be a good time. And too. Jarvis Landry. Right. That's probably kind of yeah. hot. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> yep. Some hopefully, of, hopefully you didn't invest in Jarvis Landry the last couple of years, and yeah. you missed out on all those good PPR God, points. That hopefully, yeah, you, that'd be, you that'd deflected be, that. That'd be terrible if you had consistent fifteen points every week. Like, <laughs> you know what would be worse? You, that? you know what would be worse if you're like a big name in the industry, and a couple months ago you tweeted that you hated Jarvis Landry and you didn't want anything to do with him, and then you bragged that you've never invested in him, and he <laughs> Jarvis Landry is like the second, third. He's the fifth best PPR receiver this year. Yeah, it'd be really bad if you're well. Those if your name was are Matt, it'd be really bad if you're bad uh, yards, yards per, per target. target. <laughs> if your name was Matt Kelly and you tweeted about not liking Jarvis Landry in a braggish. Oh, form. he loves it though. He's sticking by it, and good for him. Yeah, he's he plays he plays his role. He knows yeah. what he, he knows exactly what he's doing, man. Yeah. I, I, hats off to this guy. Good he's a great him. podcaster. 
His his vocabulary is out of this world and, and spot on. It's semi practice, but whatever. He knows exactly what he he's doing. He definitely has a though. dictionary sitting right next to him. He knows exactly thesaurus. what he's doing. A thesaurus. He's, he's looking he gets, for clicks. Wherever anybody's going, he's, he's going the opposite way because yeah. that's what gets clicks. That's Somebody's got to be the he's villain. A great click getter. And we're about to put out a little YouTube clip for him. just about Matt Kelly. Oh, I'd, I'd probably do pretty good. The amount <laughs> the amount that his name comes out of our mouth just tells you who he is. Right, exactly. exactly. You're welcome. So, Disrespect. It, right. it really is. I mean, I'd love to talk to him face to face. I'd love to get on his podcast and go around and around with him. I got no problem with that. But people don't. I don't know. We're not getting many invites because we're not bringing anyone on. We're kind of like we, we do our own thing. Like we're we have a tough time with just the three of us or two of us just to get through a show, much less bringing in someone we don't even know what yeah. they're thinking and, and you know how what? to structure that. I really don't care what you think. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's my biggest problem. Yeah. I just don't care what any of you guys think. Yeah. I want to yeah. have my own discussion with my guys. Right. And I want to put it out there. Right. I'll read your stupid tweets later. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So back to AJ Green. I want to ask a question. Does does the Calvin Johnson, I'm 30 years old and I'm about, I, I, I feel like stepping away from the game before it's too late and physically. Does that loom at all when these this Julio and, and and AJ Green are getting on that thirty year old thresh mark? Well, or is or is the Larry Fitzgerald factor still like which one's stronger in your mind? I think good it's, point. I think it's Larry Fitzgerald the well, stronger factor in my I mind. I said it earlier. AJ Green silky smooth. Like Calvin shouldn't have happened. Dude mm-hmm. was like six five, ran like a gazelle. You know, six five two thirty five ran a four three five. That's what I'm ridiculous. saying. Calvin wasn't real. Like yeah. we, you know, he Megatron called was him perfect nickname for him. Exactly, called him after nicknamed him a superhero for mm-hmm. a reason. Like I just, you know, he, and just let's just not get it twisted. Like Calvin still would play right, right. now if he was on the Eagles or right. some, or somewhere else. Lines. Like if he wasn't from the bottom, yeah. looking up every year, year after year, putting his body on the line for basically not much. Mm-hmm. You know, I. He Julio did Jones was just in the Super Bowl. Yeah, like I, I'm not. They're they're not that, and they're they're good again. Like a lot of teams don't bounce back the way they just did for, right. after a Super Bowl loss. They're right back to where they need to be. It's stupid right. that the, the red zone targets and all that stuff isn't up to par. But again, we we discussed all that. The, the coordinator is first year in the league and blah 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 blah. AJ Green is on the Bengals. Like, and they're they're about to have a big changing in the guard. You know what? Maybe if things don't go his way, and maybe the Bengals stay at the bottom of that division, looking up, maybe you could see a little bit of an early retirement or, or okay. trying to get out of Cincinnati for AJ right. Green. A here. contract restructuring and a, a sign and trade, or get me out of here, or, or release me, coach, or something like that. I could see that. But like you, Calvin was tired of them saying we're going to have a running game this year. I've been calling BS on that for three years in a row. Yeah. They keep saying the Lions are going to have a running game. It never happened. Calvin never had any help. Uh, I, and again, he's he was so big that body kind of tore down. AJ Green's a slimmer cat. He's a, you know not not definitely not six five two forty five, uh, and you know he just he plays smoother than a big huge man like that. This should have been a tight end or a linebacker. Yeah. All right, I, I'm with you. I, I think I can round out this with with Keenan at nine and AJ at ten. We all on that same page there. I'm I'm for sure there. I mean, that's all right cool with me. What's well, uh? Should we get out of here? It's about, yeah. That's like a rap. I think that's, that's a, a rap. rap.